Hey YouTubers, today I got my Menards Dummy A unit in today, and definitely a lot lighter than I expected. Uh, I have already opened it up and posted a uh, some pictures on a Facebook group, so here's what I got as soon as I have opened up the package. Okay. So for one thing, it is very light. There were a lot of fingerprints all over the bottom of this. It has traction tires. And the thumbtack coupler was, well, disengaged from the coupler. Perfect. Just, just what I expected. Put that back in place. Oh, it looks just like new again. Okay. So let's open it up and see the capacitor inside. So as always with, with this locomotive, there are four screws holding this down. Screw one, two three and four so we'll take a Phillips head screwdriver and start taking these off yep there's that pesky capacitor and wow there's even fingerprints on the inside of this thing way to go Menards excellent quality control two thumbs up sarcasm speaking here the capacitor that I have here is a 220 microfarad capacitor with a 35 volt rating and I could have sworn I saw some pictures or videos, mostly pictures, uh, with a 330 microfarad capacitor at, I think, either 25 or 35 volts. Why would they change it if this was supposed to be a mass-produced engine? Let's get a close-up of that grounding wire, people. Look at that. The wire is just wrapped around the axle of the locomotive. Excellent work, Menards. Two thumbs up. There is absolutely no point for this capacitor to be on this circuit whatsoever. It's grounded right to the frame and it goes right to the center pickup wheel of the rear truck. This capacitor serves no function whatsoever other than a nuisance. With a pair of cutters, I'm just going to cut this off. One. Two. That's it. Now I have a capacitor for a project of my own. The glue just peeled right off of this housing which holds the LED in place. With my transformer fully turned on to 20 volts we can see that the headlamp and the number board LEDs are on. And if we go here to the back of the engine we can see that the rear light is on too. And of course we got to switch underneath here and that controls the LEDs front and back on and off. Um, yeah. Cheap little A unit here. I don't know why that the, that the capacitor was installed, but it can still be uh, improved on. I don't know why the, the wire was just wrapped around like that. Again, just cheap quality just to get on the market. But we can give all of our input to them, and they'll just do minor improvements. So I think by beta uh, 7.0, 8.0, they should have everything halfway ironed out. If Menards was planning to use this capacitor as a filter capacitor for voltage spikes, well... It's the wrong one. And if you were to try to get a 220 microfarad or 330 microfarad capacitor for this in AC voltage, well, it would be very, very big capacitor. A 5 microfarad AC capacitor is going to be about the size of a small soda can. So there has to be like another filtering circuit or TVSS circuit to suppress the spikes in the track to, pro to protect their circuitry. So Menards, back to the drawing board.